Hey, how you doing? Moss Bay and Tampa Police Department. Is everything okay? Yes, sir. You, you know why I'm stopping you? I do not know. You're kind of all over the road back there. You're turning real wide. You're stopping past the stop bar. Is there anything going on with, with the car? No. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and I'll be your host. As always, we have a super special first-of-its-kind video here for you tonight. We have a package opening, but we're going to get to that. There certainly may be some booms in this video. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. This video is about Chloe. She's an Instagram model. She performs tricks with her body and her tongue on TikTok, and she's also on OnlyFans. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can buy pictures of her petite, young, legal body for a few dollars a month on OnlyFans. You'll even get a chance to shoot your shot and slide into her DMs. Whether she responds or not, that's her choice. But you just never know till you try sometimes. Anyways. Check out this short clip of this amazing young woman and some of the tricks that she's capable of performing with her tongue. Wow, oh wow. What did you think of that, ladies and gentlemen? But this video is not about the tongue tricks that she's able to perform. Chloe was unfortunate enough to find herself pulled over on the side of the road by Tampa PD on a very fateful night. Was she intoxicated or impaired? And even if she was, would you have just let her go home because apparently she lived just up the block? You, yeah you, watching this video right now, you are the online internet juror. And I want you to decide. Guilty or not guilty? Would you want to be the one to give this beautiful, young, hardworking woman a criminal record for the rest of her life? No. Decisions, oh decisions. Your choice, viewer. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you. Also, something that makes this video extra special and the first of its kind that I've ever done here at Crime Circus. Check this out. One of my wonderful viewers decided to send me a package. And I don't know what's inside this package. I hope it's not something that'll hurt me. Receiving packages in the mail from strangers can be quite dangerous. I've read a lot of horrible news stories of bad things happening. So let's have a look-see here at this package and see who it's from and who it's to. It says it's from the House of Misfits. So right off the bat, it sounds a little sketch and I'm kind of afraid to open this thing. This package is addressed to His Grace Drip Drop. Well, that would be me. Some people have referred to me as Lord Drip Drop. Drip, Drip Drop. I've even been called Your Grace. There's a lot of different nicknames for me floating around out there on the internet, and we are absolutely gonna find out what's inside of this package together. But you're gonna have to stay tuned until the end of this video because first we're gonna jump right into what I have to present to you and see what Chloe has to say for herself. Looks like eight Juliet Sierra on a dark colored uh, Volkswagen Ford. Six eight four. Final stop is going to be south of Jackson. Hey, how you doing, Moss Bay and Tampa Police Department? Is everything okay? Yes, sir. You, you know why I'm stopping you? I do not know. You're kind of all over the road back there. You're turning real wide. You're stopping past the stop bar. Is there anything going on with, with the car? No. Um, I live at the Heron up here. I'm just going home. Okay. Are and you, do you have any kind of medical issues or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Where are you coming from? Um, Ebor. We up. had, yeah, I was picking up from Ebor. Okay. Do you have your license with you? I do not. I have my registration. I don't have my license on me. Okay. Do you I have a license? I do, yes. Okay. I just don't have it on me. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. 
Do you have your registration then? Do you have I any do. ID at all? Not on me. No, but at my apartment I do. Okay. Okay. Do you want my registration? Yeah, if you got it. Right. Yes, sir. Here you are. All right. So you're not living on Nuremberg anymore? No, that's my mother. Okay. I moved up to the Heron up here recently. God, I've never moved. So you have nothing with your information on it? Not on me right now, no, at my apartment I do. Okay. All right. What's your name? Chloe. Spell it. C-H-L-O-E. Last name? Tafada. Same as uh, your mom's? Yes, Marissa. What's your date of birth? 10-12-03. Do you have a middle initial? S. Suzanne. Okay, just hang tight for me. All right, yes, sir. Frank, 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 Can you up out real quick for me? For what? So I can talk to you outside here? Alright, step back this way for me. Alright, so where exactly were you coming from? Uh, over in Ebor. Anywhere in particular? Or? I was just picking my friend up from the club. Okay, so you you were just picking him up? Yes. So you didn't go inside any clubs? No, sir. Okay, okay. Do you have any medical issues with you? No. Oh. Do you take any kind of medications? No, sir. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. Not a drop? Not a drop. Right. Would you mind if I checked your eyes as part of field sobriety to make sure that you're okay to be driving? Uh, for why? Well, right now I'm concerned because I can smell some alcohol coming from your breath. Okay, like, I have like I not. said, you're telling me that that you you just went to go pick your your friend up from the club. Yes, I did, sir. Based on your clothes. All right, yeah. I went out to dinner before I picked him up. Sure. Yes, sir. Sure. So that, right now I'm I'm concerned about your level of sobriety based off your driving and pattern. I will tell my you as much as I am perfectly fine. Thank okay. you so much. And that, that's why I would like to check your eyes to kind of ensure that I'm, you're okay. I'm all right. Drive. Thank you. Okay. Though. Okay, here, here's here's what's going on. Okay, like I said, I've been following you for a good little bit since you were at Nebraska in seventh. Okay, so as we went down Nebraska, right. you were above the speed limit. You went well over into the bike lane. You went back over into the other lane. You stopped past the stop bar on to uh, I believe it was Scott back there. Right. Made a wide turn onto um, Twigs. Made a wide turn onto here. Uh, in my contact with you, like I said, I'm smelling some alcohol from your breath. Uh, I'd like. I have not drank any alcohol tonight. But well, I, I would like to check your eyes to kind of ensure that you're okay to be I driving. I can tell you right now that I'm good to be driving my car. Sure. And I live right down the street, right, right. here at in, the Heron. Sure. And in, in, in my in, interaction with you, I'm seeing some indications of impairment. So I'd like you to do. I'd like to at least check your eyes to ensure that you're okay to be driving. You don't have to do it. It's up to you if you want to do it or I not. Know, uh, no. However, what I'm happens good, sir. if you don't? What happens is it puts me in a position where I have to make a decision to arrest you or not based on the evidence that I've seen thus wow. far. Yeah, so that's, that's why I'm trying to give you the opportunity to kind of, Gosh. you know, prove some of my, or dissuade some of my Sir, suspicions. Sir, I will tell you right now that I am good to be driving back to my apartment right now tonight. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Sure. I'm going to my mother's house tomorrow. Sure. So, I have not been drinking. I am good to go. Okay. So, I don't know what else to tell you, sir. Okay. So, so would you mind if I checked your eyes as part of field sobriety? You may, you may check my eyes okay. if you would like to check my okay. eyes. Tell you what. Just, uh, Chloe, just stand right here my flashlight for me. Yes, sir. Do you wear glasses or contacts? I do. I have glasses. You don't have them on right now? Do you have I contacts in right now? No, I do not. Okay. I Go lost my glasses. Put your feet together for me. Yes, Hands sir. down by your side. Can you see my light right here? I can. Okay. You, you just go ahead and put your hair behind your face. Yes, there sir. you go. All right. What color is my light? Red. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this red light from side to side. What I want you to do is focus on the red light, follow it with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Yes, sir. Okay.
Tip your chin down just a little bit for me. There you go. Okay, you relax. You said it's Chloe? Yes, sir. Chloe, I'm seeing some things in your eyes that's going to be a little concerned as far as your level of sobriety. If I should do a couple other field sobriety exercises, would you be willing to do them for me? No, sir. Okay. I feel like I've done enough. I, I need to go home. Okay. I gotta go to bed. I wanna go make sure my cat's good and go to my mother's tomorrow morning. Okay. Yes, well, I, again, let me let me just kind of uh, again advise you what what where we're at in the kind of proceedings here. Yes, um, I'd like you to do the field sobriety exercises. I can't force you to do them. It's up to you. No, to I do hear them that, right. and I get that. If you don't do them, like I said, it puts me in a position where I'd have to make a decision to arrest or not based on the evidence. I that understand that, that sir. You are terrifying the shit out of me. If I'm gonna okay. be honest with you. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to. You know, I want to be courteous to you. I want to go home. Sure. I want to go to sleep. Sure. I want to go to my mother's tomorrow. I don't know what else to tell you. This is taking up time. I want to go to. I want to go to bed. I've had my like. I've had enough to happen tonight. Sure. So, so let me just kind of ask you one more time. Do you want to do the field sobriety exercises or not? No, I want to go home. Okay. All right. What I want you to do is go ahead and put no, your hands on. No, sir. Up. No, All right. Listen. All right. Nope. Listen. Sir. 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 Stop. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Stop. Stop, please. Listen. Stop. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Relax. You stop doing that to me, please. Please. Okay, I will do your whatever test. I will do your test, sir. Sir, okay, I will do your test. Yep, please. That, that, the horse has already left the barn for that. Okay, right now you're being arrested for DUI. Okay, I'm going to ask that you submit to a breast sample. It's going to measure the amount of alcohol that you have in your system. Sir. If you sir. don't, there's some penalties that will go along with that. Sir. Namely, your license will be suspended for a period of six months. For a period, I'm sorry. Sir, can, I just, do, can I just do whatever you need me to do? I've already asked you. You told me no multiple times. So come back this way. What? 6A, 10, 15. Um, for a search. Can I grab my phone? Or what? I'm going to grab it for you. Here, grab a seat. Can I do anything to no, like, what, like, like can you help? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mama. I'm not gonna be there tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, I'm at, I don't know what to do. What's up, man? So here's what's going on. Okay, she's getting arrested for DUI. Okay. You're free to go. If you want to call an Uber, call a friend to come pick you up, that's going to be your best bet. Okay. I just okay. need the keys to get inside of the building. Um, well, let me let me let me clear that with her first. I'm not saying no, but let me make sure that she's okay with it. I got you. I got you. Uh,
phone is with me. Well, her phone's gonna go with her. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah. tell you what, is this, is that her wallet right here? Yep, yep, that's okay. her wallet. Her key is in order for me to get into the house. Let me hold the keys for a second. There if she, go. if she okay as you get, get and taking the key, I'm fine with that. Completely okay. Understand. Uh, and then, uh, is this like a book of release type of deal? Or how no, so what's going to happen is she's going to have to stay for a minimum of eight hours from the time of the arrest. Yeah, you know, I know. So I know. it is... Four in the morning. No, that's so, actually wrong. It's actually three. Oh, three. So, 11 a.m. would be like the earliest that okay. she could get out. Okay. Okay? Yep. Just let me know. Do you have any property in here? Uh, I do not. Is this your wallet? No, that is her Okay. If you could just do me a favor and just kind of hop out and just stand on the sidewalk for me, though, yep. I'd appreciate I, uh, that. Not okay to take the vehicle. Just so I... No, sir. It's going to have to get towed. Okay. Okay. It's not really an option, just so I know. No, sir. It's our policy. Okay. Okay. Yep. I just figured I'd ask. Nope. No. No problem. Uh, no problem. Yep. I got. Uh, I'll, I'll take her purse. Like I said, if you want to hang out on the sidewalk, I'll ask her real quick about the keys. Okay. And then uh, you said you, are you you were going to stay at her place? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which, is it just this key fob or is it the whole thing or what? Chloe, he's asking if he can take the keys so he can get home. Absolutely, he can. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Can you grab my phone, please? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it for you. Thank you.
I need to be home tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so sorry to my family. I was I can't be. I wish I could be there. God, I want to be there so bad. I want clothes to fucking put on. Damn it. What are they checking for? Yeah, if you don't mind. Um, some medicinal weed, but I don't see that she has a card. so much right now. Like this one is no idea how much I hate my life right now. Oh god damn it. And oh my god I fucking I hate my life right now. Well you can't find the stream because you're not doing the job of doing Location? I'm going to assume that that's her purse, right? Yep. Okay. That's going to stay with the car. Okay. Um, but she did okay with you taking the, the keys, though. Okay. Uh, take, she's going to take her purse. Um, I'm gonna take any kind of valuables that's in there, okay. uh, and then okay, it'll, the actual purse itself will stay in the okay. car. Who's Emily? Do you know? Uh, that is uh, her roommate. Okay. Is this her purse or is this Emily's purse? It, it, it's her purse where Emily put, had put her ID in there because she didn't have anything to uh, carry. With, type, type of thing. Okay. She she guys she was out with you guys earlier or something like yeah. that. Gotcha. Okie dokie. So mom is since 16. Her name is Chloe. Yeah, her name's Chloe. Oh, her name. Um... I don't remember the date of birth. It was in 2003. If you run Chloe S. Defada, she's got a um, 
or mess with us in HGSO. She should come up. Okay. No, the date, like I said, date of birth was in 03, but I don't remember the month and date off the top of my head. Does he have my keys? Yeah, he does. He's going to take my girl home? No, the car's going to get towed. For why? Because it can only get released to the registered oh. owner, and that's your mom who's in... Pennsylvania. Yeah. All right. So. Do you have my uh, phone and such? Yeah, I got, I got all of them. All right. What jail are you taking me to? Orient Road Jail. I don't know what that is. Is that far? Uh, it's about five, ten minutes. Okay. I've got to use the restroom. It's got a restroom there, yeah? Yeah, it's got one. All right. Thank you, John. Her? Yeah, that's her. I'm 1031. Six eight four nine seven two one one five one seven nine. All right, Chloe, can you hear Over. me? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Baden of the Tampa Police Department. I'm now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. If you refuse to take the test I've requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or eighteen months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended. Or if you've been previously fined under Florida Statute 327.35215 for refusing to submit to a lawful test for your breath, urine, and blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test I requested of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under Florida Statute 327.35215 for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you'll be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusing to submit to testing is admissible as evidence in a criminal proceeding. Do you understand that? I do, yes, sir. Will you provide a breath sample? I will not. Okay. All right, Chloe, hop out for me. Just hang that right here. Alright, we're going through this green door over here. Sir? You really don't got a home here. Yeah, as soon as we get inside, and this right. kind of is what it is out here. Alrighty. And you have my phone. Yeah, I got your phone, oh. your wallet. Alright. Um, Thank you. I didn't see any credit card. You had a bunch of like loose cash in the center console. I took that. Hey, but... video uh, yes. I oh, know you did have one credit card, so. Okay. Yep. Well, as you saw, the officer decided to arrest Chloe. But what would you have chosen? Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know. And don't forget to consider signing up for her OnlyFans to show some support to this beautiful, young, hard-working woman. And while you're at it, consider signing up for my Patreon, because I could use your support too. Anyways, remember that package I showed you in the beginning? Let's open it. This package came from the House of Misfits, and it's addressed to me. And to open this package, I'm going to use my trusty box opener. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You need a nice sharp blade to open some of these packages. So I'm going to use my trusty meat cleaver because my K-Bar with its leather sheath has been missing for about six months now. Anyways. Hopefully I don't slice into anything that may be important inside of this package. I could be cutting up some important stuff right now. I don't know what this is or who it's from. 
As you can see, I'm opening this package for the first time right here with you. I don't know what to expect inside of this thing. I'm legitimately scared. It smells like someone may have sprayed perfume or cologne inside of this package. I may have been incorrect. It may not have smelled like perfume or cologne. I was a little thrown off. It smells a bit foreign. Ladies and gentlemen, you probably can't see it right now, but I've been glitter bombed. There's glitter all over me right now. It's all over this package and it's all over my hands and fingers, my light, my microphone. It's all over everything. I am covered head to toe and all of my fingertips are glazed with glitter. And I really hate glitter because this is going to be a hell of a mess to clean up. Anyways, now that you know I'm covered in glitter, let's talk about this thing. This seems to be another package that came inside of the other package. It almost looks like a six inch sub from the deli, but I don't think that's what it is. Let's find out. There is so much glitter on this thing. I wish you could see the nightmare that I'm living inside of right now. I need somebody to clean this mess up. But considering I do everything, it's gonna be me that has to clean this mess up. And now that I've opened up the outer packaging, I see that there's another package within and that's also covered in glitter. I wish my lighting was a little better so you could see all these sparkles. This package right here has a note attached to it. And once I wipe away the glitter, maybe I can read it. Let's see what it says. Your Grace, Happy Father's Day. You are my dude for the next 18 years. Peace, love, and dubs baby mama out. Sarah. And then it says scratch and sniff with an arrow pointed to the pink cat. It doesn't smell like anything. It really doesn't. There's also a patch attached to the outside of this package that says dream in color. Whatever's inside of this thing is scaring the hell out of me. I know I'm going to need a vacuum cleaner for all this glitter. Now to open this package. This thing's about to be covered in glitter just like me because I'm taking off this packaging right now. There is another layer of plastic wrap that I have to remove to see what's inside of this thing. Let's check it out. It seems to be some sort of doll and there is even more plastic wrap that I'm going to remove from the doll right now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, it's a doll. This seems to look a lot like Baby Drip, as seen up in the upper hand corner right here. Thank you very much. I really do have the best viewers in the entire world. I do, I do. Thank you. Well, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do I really have to pay support for this thing for the next 18 years? Or should I actually send an invoice to the return address for the glitter cleanup? As you can see, Baby Drip is a star just like me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. There's a lot more content coming to this channel. I hope to see you back around here soon. I hope to read a comment from you down below. Make sure you follow me on Facebook if you have Facebook. If not, at least subscribe to my second YouTube channel, The Crime Circus Cult. Anyways, until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.